open the meeting at 6.45 p.m. on May 16th. The first order of business is to elect a deputy moderator pro tem. At the advice of our moderator, we would like to suggest that we elect John Bruno. All those in favor? Uh, thank you, Susan, and uh, welcome to the second night of the annual uh, town meeting. Um, uh, I haven't done this in a couple of years, so if I make a couple of mistakes, I expect one of you folks will tell me. <laughs> yeah, in any event, um, to start with, we have an announcement about the uh, lakes. Am I doing it wrong? So we're going to make an announcement tonight uh, that the uh, Montponset Pond Aquatic Treatment, the initial treatment will be conducted on Tuesday, May 17th, that's tomorrow. The ponds will be closed to all water uses, including boating, fishing, and swimming on the day of the treatment only, that's next Tuesday, or to, I'm sorry, tomorrow. Additionally, water from the ponds cannot be used for irrigation. For a period of 90 days commencing on this day, applicable water use restrictions will be posted with signs around the shoreline prior to application. So uh, going on to uh, the uh, annual town meeting. So just to remind everyone, if you want to be heard, raise your hand and holler out Mr. Moderator. If I forget your name, I apologize in advance. Uh, but we'll ask you to come up to the microphone, introduce yourself, who you are, so that we have it on our uh, official record, uh, and then we'll go about the business of whatever you want to talk about. When I understand that the last article that was pulled um, before the... Um, Mr. Adjournment. Moderator, can I please read the um, results of the annual election? Yes. Thank Mrs. you. Mrs. Clerk. At our annual election on May 14th, the following people were elected. For Board of Assessors, Robert Mullen. Board of Health, Candace Lee Green. Board of Library Trustees, Susan Hill and Erin Nagel. Board of Selectmen, one-year term, Jonathan H. Selig. Board of Selectmen, three-year term, Alexander J. Mead. Constable for three-year term, two positions, Thomas M. Hammond, Thomas F. Schindler. Halifax Elementary School, one-year term, Karen Beth Townsend. Halifax Elementary School, three-year term, Jessica Page. Park Commissioner, three-year term, Thomas F. Schindler. Planning Board, five-year term, Robert G. Gaynor II. Silver Lake School Committee, three-year term, Paula M. Hatch. Water Commissioners for three-year term, Donald A. Bosworth. There was also a question on the ballot, and that question did pass with a yes vote. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, the, uh, as I said, the uh, last article that was pulled but not um, addressed uh, was Article 43. Do we have a motion? I'm sorry? Oh, I thought they did that. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I forgot. I told, I told you I'm a little rusty, okay? So um, thank you for helping me. If all you would stand, and gentlemen, please remove your hats. Join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for reminding me. Article 43, do we have a motion? Mr. Moderator. Mr. Seeley. First off, thank you for helping us out tonight. Uh, 
the motion I have is I move Article 43 as printed on page 39. This one is in your warrant. This is not in the handout. This is in your warrant, page 39. Do we have a second? I second. So uh, Article 43 has been printed uh, as it is uh, in the warrant. Um, also on the handout, the uh, handout that's in the hallway there that has all of the articles, it would be on page 16 for anyone who has, uh, has that. Uh, Mr. Seelig, it's your article. Would you like to speak to it? Sure. This article would limit the number of marijuana establishments in the town of Halifax to two. All right. Finance Committee's recommendation. Finance Committee does not recommend. Finance Committee does not recommend. You'll probably ask why. Do you have an explanation? Two reasons. First, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a value capture in that it would basically create a duopoly in the, in the town. Uh, with, given the town's fiscal uh, constraints, we believe it's revenue restrictive. Uh, and second, we believe that it, uh, it, it creates a situation where we're moving the goalposts. We have set a set of bylaws on how marijuana establishments will be accepted into the town. Uh, it makes us, uh, it damages our reputation as a place to do business if we're constantly changing those bylaws. Okay, thank you. I, I skipped over the uh, planning board's recommendation. Unless there is someone here from the planning board who wants to speak to this, Ms. Troop. Hi, everybody. Um, we had a vote um, on this bylaw that we limit to two, and it wasn't as worthy um, a vote of two to one. Okay, so the planning board held a hearing yep. and voted two to one to recommend. Is that right? That's correct. All right. This being um, a zoning board, I mean a zoning bylaw change that will require a two-thirds vote. Is there any other debate uh, that you wish to uh, to bring to the floor? Hearing no evidence of uh, any debate, uh, we'll now move to the question again. I have to have a two-thirds vote for this to pass. All those in favor, please raise your green cards. Right. All those opposed, raise the red. Uh, the motion does not reach two-thirds. The motion fails. The next article. Article 18. Article 18. Mr. Moderator. Just, just, just one second, please. Yep. So Article 18 is on page 7 of the handout. For anyone who didn't bring a uh, copy of their warrant in? Uh, yes. For Article 18, I'd like to move as printed in the handout. To, to move. Um, as, as printed in the handout. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. I we second. Have a second. All right. We have a motion and a second to uh, approve Article 18 as printed in the handout. Again, that would be on page 7 of your handout. <clears throat> Mr. Mead, it's your article. Would you like to speak to it? Um, I believe Matt Durkee is in the audience. I was wondering if he could give us a quick narrative on the article. Okay. Finance Committee's recommendation. Finance Committee recommends. Thank you. Finance Committee recommends. Is there any debate on Article 18? Come on up and identify yourself, please, for us. Hi, good evening. Matt Jarkey, Director of Facilities for the Silver Lake Regional School District. Um, this article is to raise funds to replace the current um, control system in the Halifax Elementary School eleva uh, elevator. Um, it's an older system. Uh, we recently just replaced the controls on it and uh, it, it took a long time to find a replacement board for this current system. Um, multiple companies that we had spoken with um, highlighted the fact that this was the last board that they could find, control board, for this current system. So if this current system of the elevator fails, we will not have a control board to replace it, which will then require an emergency service and the cost could be well over the amount that we are asking to be appropriated for it. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Any other debate on Article 18? Uh, folks, just to remind you, if, if you want to get my attention, please yell loud and raise your hand so that I can see you and call on you. I'm not trying to ignore anybody, but I need to 
I need to see that. All right, no, yes, sir, right there. Uh, Frank Johnston, uh, Elm Street, Halifax. Um, if we're putting a new board in there, how old is the board that's being replaced, and how long do they anticipate this current board to work for $66,000? Okay, thank And the you. price of the board that we just put in, what was the cost of that? All right, so I'll see if I can get an answer for you. Do you have an answer for the, uh, for the question? Matt Turkey, Director of Facilities for Silver Lake Regional School District. Um, the board was replaced uh, two falls ago. Um, uh, I don't have the exact figure on that replacement. I believe it was in the $20,000 range. And at that time, they, they told us that this was the last board uh, available. So again, if, if this system fails, we, we can't um, for certainty tell you when or if it will fail. There is a possibility that this board can, can last in the current system for another 10 years. Um, but if that board fails, there will be no other board to replace it. And the overall cost of the project will far exceed um, the current amount that we're asking for. Okay. Any further questions? Any further debate? Uh, uh, not, uh, the, um, I think it's behind you too. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Come up to the microphone, please. Mark Smith at Twin Lakes Drive. I was just curious, what is the warranty on the new board? All Do right. we have information on that? Thank I'll you. I'll see if I can find out. Do we have any answer to that on the warranty? Uh, Matt Darkey, Director of Facilities for Solar Lake. Uh, the, the current warranty on the board, I don't have that specific information, but any type of uh, uh, initial install would be covered um, under the first year um, of this company for parts and replacement. Um, after that, the system, I believe, would be five years for parts, not including labor. All right. Any further debate? Yes, sir. Just to follow up to the question I had asked earlier, how long was the other board in there before it was replaced? Was it in there 10 years, 20 years? Was it the original board? Okay, we'll try and find out. Do we have an answer for that question? Uh, the, uh, the prior board that was in there was, was there, to my knowledge, since when I was working at this building for a minimum of seven years. Um, prior to that, um, I, we don't know, or I don't know, and have that information in front of me, how long that current, that board specific was in that, that elevator system. Um, but it's something that we could come back and uh, revisit. All right. I thought I saw a hand in the back. Yes, sir. Come on up front. <clears throat> the answer to the previous speaker's question, Gordon C. Andrews, 244 Elm Street, the original uh, board was 1993. All right, thank you. Any further debate on Article 18? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Jim Keegan, 338 Elm Street. Uh, the director of facilities said that this is the last board. So whether it lasts a year or 10 years, it seems to me this is a no-brainer. It's going to save the town money. Uh, $66,000 is going to be well, the cost will be a lot more than that for uh, to replace the whole system. Um, that elevator is needed not only for handicapped but uh, children who have uh, injuries. So uh, it seems like a no-brainer to me. Okay, thank you. Any further debate on Article 18? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of Article 18, please raise your green cards. Uh, thank you. Those opposed, raise the red. The article passes. The next article is? Article 39. Article 39, which is on page 15 of your um, handout. Mr. Moderator. Yes, Mr. Seeley. Uh, I move um, to move this motion as written in the warrant, Article 39. And I apologize, I don't have that page again. Did you announce the page on that one? You don't know what? The page it's on for people to find. Oh, uh, I don't know what page it's on in the uh, in the finance committee. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. And I, and I was just told this one is in is in the handout, right? So okay. This this uh, this article is being moved. If I understand, uh, as it is printed in the town meeting warrant, our our warrant is reproduced in the finance committee handbook at Article 39, right? Correct. Okay, and that's what we're trying to move. So we don't want to read all five pages of it. Yeah, it's it's pretty lengthy, so we'll we'll move it as written. Okay, thank you. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to uh, move Article 39 as it is printed in our warrant. Uh, Mr. Seelig, it's your uh, article. Yeah, I would I would like to defer to the uh, interim town administrator to speak to this article. Mr. Thorne. Mr. Moderator, uh, the language that's in that handout is a uh, done by the consultant that worked with the Board of Health. The Board of Health has already adopted these regulations, and this just codifies the stormwater regulations uh, to meet the uh, state code. Okay. Finance Committee's recommendation on Article 39. Finance Committee did not make a recommendation. There's no discernible financial impact. There's no discernible financial impact that we could see. All right. Finance Committee does not recommend. Uh, do we have any discussion on Article Oh, sorry, 30? Mr. Moderator. We do not we do not make a recommendation. Oh, you're not making a recommendation. Correct. I'm sorry. Just keep your voice up a little bit for me. Thank you. Finance Committee is not making a recommendation, so they're not approving it or, or, or otherwise. Um, all that being said, any, deb any debate on Article 39? Seeing no evidence there, thereof. All those in favor of Article 39 as printed in the warrant, raise the green papers. Thank you. Uh, opposed, please raise the red papers. So the article passes. The next article. Article 10. Article 10. Article 10 is on page 5 of your handout. Mr. Moderator, yes, I move Article 10 as printed in the handout. As printed in the handout, okay. So Article 10 has been moved. Do we have a second? Second. Article 10 has been moved and second as printed in the handout, which basically tells you where the money is coming from. Um, yes, ma'am, it's your article. Uh, this article funds a 1% wage increase for the police patrolmen who are in the union. Finance Committee's recommendation on Article 10. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Any debate on Article 10? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of Article 10, raise the green flags. Thank you. All those opposed, raise the red. The motion passes. Next article. Article 27. Article 27. Article 27 is on page 10 of your handout. Mr. Moderator, I move Article 27 as we're in on the handout. As printed in the handout. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to move Article 27 as printed in the handout, which uh, again is uh, on page 10. And again, this tells us where the money is coming from. It's your article. Would you like to speak to it? Uh, I would actually ask the fire chief to speak to it, please. Fire chief, being a uh, town uh, department head, has the right to speak to the article. Thank you, Chief. Jason Viveras, Fire Chief. Um, this article is to replace our 2017 ambulance. Um, the reason it's appearing, um, it's up this year, is because the vehicle manufacturers have advised us that the wait time on an ambulance now is two years um, because of their inability to obtain chassis. So um, that's why it's coming up this year instead of next year. Okay, thank you, Chief. Finance Committee's recommendation, Article 27. Finance Committee recommends. Thank you. Finance Committee recommends. Is there any debate on Article 27? See, Yes, sir. Come on up front. Bob McCarthy, 610 Montpensier Street. Um, I realize this is saying $100,000, so you're saying you need a replacement, but when you got the last one, you said you were six years old before getting the next ambulance, right? Mr. McCarthy. And I'm supposed to be to you, I know. Up to the moderator. Um, and I understand our new mechanic is doing great with the PMs on all our vehicles, so they're going to last longer. I don't see why we can't put this out another year or two to see what revenues we get in from the pot shops. 
any further discussion on Article 27? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor, please say aye or raise the green flags. Thank you. Opposed, raise the red flags. The article passes. Next article, article 40. Article 40. Article 40 is on page 15 of your uh, town meeting handout. Mr. Moderator. Yes, ma'am. I move Article 40 as written in the town handout. I'm sorry, you moved them as printed in the handout. As printed in the handout. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve Article 40 as printed in the handout. Um, it's your article? What, the fire chief? To uh, yeah, the fire, do you want to speak on it? Uh, chief Faveros. This, art this article eliminates the fire chief as a mandatory member of the Hol Holidays in Halifax Committee. Um, I believe it was placed in the bylaw years ago, um, especially when we had fireworks, but as that's no longer the case, um, my feeling is it's best to leave that to a committee of, of residents. Um, and the fire chief and police chief, we still act as advisors to those committees, both Hol Holidays in Halifax and the Fireworks Committee, and in a, any other committee we're asked to by the board. But this would open it up to three residents, eliminate the fire chief's respons um, responsibilities of actually planning the event, but would still obviously be involved with the public safety end of it. Thank you. Finance Committee's recommendation, Article 40. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends Article 40. Is there any... Debate on Article 40. Seeing no evidence thereof. All those in favor, <laughs> raise the green flags. All right, thank you. All opposed, raise the red flags. The article passes. The next article. Article 15. Article, article 15. 15. Article 15 is on page 6 of your uh, town meeting handout. Let me just get to that. Mr. Moderator. Yes, ma'am. I move Article 15 as printed in the town handout. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve Article 15 as printed in your uh, town meeting uh, handout, which again is at page 6. Uh, it's your article? I would ask for our police chief to speak, please. Okay. The police chief being a, uh, a Bartman head has the right to address the town meeting. Chief? John Charles, police chief. Several years ago, the town adopted a policy to replace two police vehicles a year to keep down the cruiser maintenance budget as part of and repair costs have skyrocketed. And to be sure that our police vehicles are in good working order. The vehicles will be replacing other town department vehicles and will not be adding, adding any additional vehicles to our fleet. This article is in keeping with the town policy. And I believe we've been doing um, this uh, two cruisers since 2010. Okay, thank you, Chief. Uh, Finance Committee's recommendation. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Any debate on Article 15? Yes, sir, Mr. McCarthy. Bob McCarthy, 610 Montponson Street. Um, I remember when this went in as, as the two a year, but last year, because of COVID, the police department got a, a pickup truck. So we actually got three vehicles last year. So I don't see why we're still asking for two. I mean, we can go down to one. Sounds like a better idea to me. I, like I said, three last year when it's not only two a year. So to me, it seems like a waste of money to be getting two. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. K uh, Chief, you want to respond to that? Yes, so uh, Mr. McCarthy was correct. We did get the uh, pickup truck as part of the COVID um, CARES Act. The vehicle is not uh, set up for uh, uh, frontline duty. It's basically uh, a specialty vehicle that uh, tows our trailer uh, that we used to, in response to COVID to do meal deliveries, uh, community uh, outreach stuff. So um, again, w the cruisers are gonna be handed down. So we're actually gonna be replacing uh, a 2015 Explorer with 110,000 miles and uh, a 2012 Chevy Tahoe with 134,000 miles from the building department and our uh, animal control officer. So it's actually going to be, in the long run, better for the, for the town because we'll have vehicles that are actually be able to run and, uh, you know, do service calls and stuff like that. Okay, thank you, Chief. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Keegan. Yeah, 
I, I, I'd like to just uh, echo what uh, our chief said, that pickup truck is not used on for patrol. Th those were for funds, uh, COVID funds. So there's a, a specific, a specific uh, requirements where, where that truck can be used. Um, this, again, I know I used this term before, it should be a no-brainer. Uh, two cruises. Um, these are the cars that are on the road 24 hours a day, and they're, the call, they're answering the calls for 911. Uh, the, 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 this should be automatic that, that the chief uh, this passes for the town. Okay, thank you. Any further debate on Article 15? Seeing... Oh, yeah. Holler out Mr. Moderator for me so I, I, I can get visual and hearing. Uh, Frank Johnston, Elm Street. Uh, two questions. The two units that are being replaced, um, are they getting traded in or are they going to different departments within the town or are they going to be used within the police department? So that, are they getting traded in or are they getting used in the town? That's the question. Yeah. Chief? Are you, talking, are, you, are you talking about the cruises that we are? Uh, I the think ones he's asking you about this right. article, Chief. So the... Um, the, they're both going to be used as police vehicles, but then the vehicles that they'll be replacing are going to be handed down to the two other departments. So as the plan is to, uh, to um, put them up for auction or trade them in. That's town's meeting prerogative on what they want to do. Uh, I believe it's probably more beneficial if we um, put them up for auction. Uh, I know uh, recently... We had a vehicle that was uh, uh, traded in to one of the dealers, and then while doing some research, that vehicle came up and uh, it was sold by an auction company for a lot more than we had. They we, they gave the town when we traded it in. So I think it's beneficial, more financially prudent, to um, you know uh, to uh, put them up for auction than trading them in because for trading in. Um, We've been getting like $5,500 for the cruises that we've been trading in. And that, that price has been going down for the last few years. Okay. Any further debate on Article 15? Seeing no evidence of any further debate. All those in favor, the green cards, please. Thank you. Opposed, the red cards. Uh, the motion passes. The next article. Article 19. Article 19. Article 19 is found on page 8 of your handout. Uh, Ms. Motter? Yes, Mr. Mead. Um, I move for Article 19 that $200,000 be transferred from undesignated fund balance of free cash in the treasury of the town and $20,000 be raised and appropriated from the 2023 tax levy and other general revenues of the town to be spent by the Board of Selectmen with the approval of the highway surveyor to purchase a medium-duty dump truck with plow and sander for the highway department. I second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, Mr. Mead, the difference uh, is what between what's printed the, in the handout and what you just moved? Uh, the difference that's what's printed in the handout and what I just moved is I understand there was a $20,000 cost increase on the truck. Um, I'd like to ask the department head to come forward. All right. Would you like to speak any further to the, mo to the article? Thank you. It's up to you if you want to. You don't have to. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Finance Committee's recommendation on Article 19. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Um, so you'll note that there is a $20,000 increase, and what the Board of Selectmen did is just designate where that $20,000 is coming from in their uh, amended motion. Any debate on Article 19? Mr. Mr. Moderator, yes. we, we would like to have um, the department heads just to speak to it oh, okay. uh, for the narrative. So if Steve would come up from highway, please. Thank you. Mr. Haywood knows how to get my attention. Right here. There you go. <laughs> Steve Hayward, Highway Surveyor. Uh, this truck is going to be replacing a 1995 Ford 8800. 8, uh, the truck, we don't have a dump body on it. It's, we've got the sander permanently mounted to it, so we don't even have a dump body for that truck. Uh, we'll be buying a, a uh, medium-duty truck, which the town does not have yet. We've never had a medium-duty. We've always had the small or the large trucks. And We've never had a medium-duty truck. We've always had the small one-tons or the large trucks. This truck we'll be able to use in other areas of town that the big trucks are having a hard time getting into. 
So that's why I went with the medium duty. Also because, also because the. Uh, Also because the, um, now I lost where I was. <laughs> no, the. Uh, you were describing why you wanted this truck. Yeah, the, the whole reason for going with the medium duty is to get in the areas where we can't go with the big truck and we'll have a dump body again. We might not be getting the sander because the prices have gone up, up so high that we're going to try to get the, tr the one that's on the truck now and make it a slide in for the new truck. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion or debate on Article 19? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Selig had said it's coming from free money. Is that correct? Because it doesn't state that in the um, you have to, uh, article. Uh, uh, always address the moderator, and I'll, I'll, you, I'll get your answers. So you want to know where it's coming from? Yes, Mr. Selig said it was coming from free money. No, it's not free money, but uh, I think Mrs. Nolan might be, our town accountant might be able to explain okay. that for us. Thank you. Uh, I, I, as far as I know, there's nothing free. <laughs> so there's 200000 coming from undesignated fund balance. That figure is referred to as free cash in the town's treasury. Every year, we get certified at the end of the fiscal year on the amount of money um, which they term as free cash, which they tell you as an accountant is not free and is not cash. But it is the money that is left in the Treasury that is in excess of the revenues we estimated, and, and it's the money that has been unspent in the general fund budget. So $200,000 $200, of this article is coming from the undesignated fund balance, and the 20000 will be from raise and appropriate. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, Mr. Hayward. I, al I also wanted to say that uh, I've looked at other trucks that are on the, the contract from the state bid, and one is like 115, one's 125, and then the higher one was 132. So there's a different range for the trucks, different companies, but I'll be going with the one that I can get the cheapest at this point because the prices, I mean, it could change by the time we get to buy the truck in a month and a half. So when I started looking at this truck, it was uh, 86,000, it's up to 132 right now. So that's within two months, three months. Okay, thank you. Any further debate or discussion on Article 19? Uh, seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor, raise the green cards. Thank you. Opposed? The red cards? Uh, the motion passes. Next article. Article 16. Article 16. Article 16 is found on page 7 of your uh, town meeting um, handout. We'll try that again. Sorry. Mr. Moderator, I move that Article 16 uh, be moved as printed in the handout. Okay. Do we have a second? A second. We have a motion and a second on Article 16 to move as printed in your handout. And again, Article 16, you will find on page 7. Mr. Seeley? Correct. Uh, would you like uh, to I'd, to I'd like to defer to the chief uh, to speak to this article, please. Thank you. Chief? We need money for new bulletproof vests. This article is placed on the warrant as the officer's bulletproof vests are replaced on a rotating basis. The vests have a manufacturer's recommended lifespan of five years. Halifax is a mandatory wear department, so we have to supply the officers with vests every five years. We get partial reimbursement from the state and the federal government, and those funds are put back into the article for the purchase of more vests. This year, we're looking at purchasing six vests. The cost for vests are about $900. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Finance Committee's recommendation on Article 16. Finance Committee recommends. Thank you. Any further discussion on Article 16? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of Article 16? Thank you. The green cards? Thank you. The opposed? Article 16 passes unanimously. Next Article article. 25. Article 25. Article 25 you'll find on page 10 of your uh, town meeting handout. And Mr. Mr. Moderator. I think 
We have Ms. Gallant. Do you want to move this? Um, yeah. How do I? What do I say? <laughs> we'll, we'll move it. Okay. Oh, okay. They're gonna they're gonna move it and they'll let you speak to it. Okay. So, but just sit down for a second. Thank you. <laughs> you can sit right there on the other side. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. Mr. Mead. Uh, I motion that Article 25 be moved as printed in the handout. Right. We have a second. second. We have a motion and a second that Article 25 be um, uh, uh, voted on as printed in the uh, town meeting handout. Uh, Mr. Mead, do you want to defer to Mrs. Gallant? Yes, I would. Thank you. Mrs. Gallant. Hi, Jean Gallant, um, Cranberry Drive, and I'm also the um, library director. So a number of years ago, six years ago, the um, town meeting voted to put the library computers, at that time we had 21 of them, on a, rotating, um, on a rotating basis. And actually this is the last one. Um, it's a staff computer and the, after this we will have all Windows 10 computers. All right. Finance Committee's recommendation, Article 25. Finance Committee recommends. Thank you. Any further discussion on Article 25? All those in favor, the green cards? Okay, thank you. Opposed? It, uh, the Article 25, <coughs> excuse me, Article 25 passes. Next article. Article 37. Article 37. Article 37 is at uh, page 14 of your handout. Mr. Moderator. Yes, ma'am. I move Article 37 as printed in the town handout. I'm going to say that a little bit more. Can you move to pass over? Oh, my pass over. I move to take no action and pass over Article 37. So you move it to pass over Article 37, right? Okay, we have a second? Second. We have a second. Okay. Um, this is uh, an article that was proposed by the Finance Committee, so we'll ask your recommendation and also uh, whether you want to pass it over. We agree to pass it over. We do not recommend. Okay, do you have an, ex an explanation as to why it should be passed over? Uh, the Finance Committee was not comfortable that the, uh, the bidding process was sufficient, and so we were, we were just concerned that we were getting the right price and the right, the right value for money. All right, thank you. Moving a uh, motion to pass over an article means we'll take no action on it. Uh, is there any uh, discussion about passing over Article 37? Wait a minute. <laughs> You're voting ahead of time. All those in favor of passing over Article 37? Uh, just the green ones. All right, the red ones. Anybody opposed the red ones? All right, the article passes. Next article. I'm sorry, Article 37 is passed over. Article 36. Article 36. All right. Article 36 is on page 14 of your uh, town, meeting, town meeting handout. Mr. Moderator, yes, I move uh, that the Article 36 uh, be, pa uh, sorry. As printed in the As printed, I know. I'm, I'll get it right eventually. I'll help you out. Don't worry. Uh, appreciate it. As printed in the handout. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve Article 36 as printed in your handout, which again is page 14 of the uh, handout. Uh, Mr. Seelig, it's your article. Sure. Uh, this article is to expand our efforts towards centralizing townwide IT and communication services to include the library and to extend network accessibility and reliability to the town's water treatment facilities. All right. Uh, Finance Committee's recommendation, Article 36. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Uh, any uh, discussion on Article 36? A discussion or you're ready to vote? Okay. Um, seeing no evidence of any discussion, all those in favor, Article 36, green cards, thank you. Opposed, red cards, motion passes. Article 30. Article 30. Article 30 is on page 11 of your uh, town meeting handout. Mr. Moderator. Yes, Mr. Seelig. I move that Article 30 uh, be moved as printed in the uh, handout. As in the handout. Thank I you. Sec I we second. We have a second. <clears throat> um, it's your article, Mr. Seelig. Do you want to speak to it? Uh, I would like to defer to the water superintendent if that is okay. Uh, yes, sir. Good 
Bill Lindsay, water superintendent. You might, um, might, might, want to, might want to come up closer to that because it so they can hear you. There you go. This is for the upgrades to the Richmond Park Treatment Center and. Don't be afraid of I, it. <laughs> it's for the phase two for the upgrades of the lights, the generator. Uh, some instrumentation, some uh, chemical feed stuff, and uh, piping, because all our stuff is, I think it's uh, actually the equipment from when it was put in. So it's all almost 40 years old. Okay. So it's replacement for equipment yeah, it's just gonna, A lot of it's just going to be replaced, yeah. Good. Thank you. Uh, finance committee's recommendation, Article 30. Finance committee recommends. Finance committee recommends. Any discussion on Article 30? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of the green cards, please. Okay. Opposed, the red cards. Uh, Article 30 passes. Article 24. Article 24. Article 24 you will find at page 9 of your handout. Mr. Moderator, I move to uh, motion... Article 24 as printed in the handout. Thank you. We have a second. Second. We have a motion and a second to uh, approve Article 24. It's your article. Uh, I would like to defer to the town clerk. Mr. Moderator, the date and the timestamp in the town clerk's office is very old and has been breaking down. Uh, we are no longer able to get replacement parts. The town clerk's office is required by law to date and timestamp many of the submissions that come into that office. Thank you. Finance Committee's recommendation, Article 24. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Any discussion on Article 24? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of Article 24, the green, thank you. Opposed, throw the red. Article 24 passes. Next article. Article 23. Article 23. Article 23 would be found at page 9 of your handout. Um, Mr. Moderator. Yes, Mr. Seeley. I move that we uh, move this article as printed uh, in the handout, Article 23. All right. We have a second. A second. We have a motion and a second to approve Article 23 as printed in the handout. Again, that's on page 9. Uh, do you want to speak to the article? Mr. Sure. This has been a long-standing article, uh, something we've done for a long time. The, the South Shore Resource and Advocacy Center provides residents with services dealing with domestic violence intervention and prevention. So Thank there you go. Thank you. A finance Committee's recommendation, Article 23. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Any discussion on Article 23? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor, the green cards, please. Thank you. All those opposed, the red cards. Article 23 passes unanimously. Article 9. Article 9. Article 9 is on page 4 of your um, town meeting handout. Uh, the Board of Selectmen. Mr. Moderator. Yes, Mr. Seeley. Uh, I move Article 9 as printed in the handout. Okay. I second. We have a motion and a second to approve Article 9 as written in the town meeting handout, which again is at page 4 of your handout. Um, do you want to speak to the article? Sure. So this article funds a 1% wage increase for the police sergeants uh, who are in the union. Thank you. Finance Committee's recommendation on Article 9. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Any discussion on uh, Article 9? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of the green cards, please. Thank you. Opposed, the red cards. Article 39 passes unanimously. Article 34. Article 34. Article 34 is on pa page 13 of your, um, of your handout. Mr. Moderator. Yes, ma'am. I move Article 34 as printed in the town handout. All right. Uh, and we have a second? Second. Okay. Do we have an uh, explanation? I um, was wondering if anybody from the elementary school is here to speak on it. What did you say? Fire team? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. School committee. Thank you. Mr. Moderator, uh, Matt Durkee, Director of Facilities. Um, the Halifax Elementary School is asking to appropriate these funds for the replacement of the intercom system in this school. Um, to my knowledge, it is uh, the same system that has been since the uh, 1993 uh, remodel. Um, the current system is a, pro a proprietary and based system, which 
um, only allows us to use one specified vendor to service this intercom system. So uh, any, any repair calls, any adjustments to uh, bell schedule needs to call out this um, one specific contractor. Um, this new system will, um, will have a non-proprietary and base system. There are several uh, contractors in the Northeast that can, that can service this system. Um, it'll work to uh, fix some of, the, um, uh, some of the current issues in the intercom system in this building. Uh, some areas have inconsistent uh, transmission from the main office to the area. This can uh, cause a safety concern if there is um, an emergency in the school where all uh, spaces in the building need to be alerted and uh, given directions. So this will, uh, th this will um, Im improve dramatically the exchange of information within the building. This also, uh, this project will also entail replacement of all the clocks in the building. So uh, with a power outage, um, uh, daylight savings, these, these clocks will um, auto adjust. Um, this system also comes with a user-friendly platform where the main office can, from their desktop, uh, make simple adjustments in the bell schedule. If there's a, a snow delay, half day, uh, this we would no longer need to call in the proprietary and base contractor to make those adjustments for us. Um, the main office staff will be able to uh, a very simple click and drag approach to change the bell system. And that's it, thank you. Thank you, uh, f <coughs> excuse me, Finance Committee's recommendation? Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends, it does not recommend, yes, thank you. All right, Finance Committee recommends Article 34. Any discussion on Article 34? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of Article 34, please raise the green card. Thank you. Opposed, the red card. Article 34 passes. Article 12. Article 12. Mr. Moderator? Uh, yes, Mr. Mead. Yes. I move that Article 12, uh, we move it as printed in the handout. Okay, Article 12 is on page five of the uh, handout. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second uh, to approve Article 12. Do you want to uh, speak to the article? Uh, yes, Mr. Moderator. This article allows the town to be a member of the Plymouth County Co-op Extension Service, which has many programs that benefit the town, including the 4-H program. Recommendation on Article 12. Finance Committee recommends. Finance Committee recommends. Um, any discussion on Article 12? Seeing no evidence thereof, all those in favor of Article 12 as printed in the handout, please, uh, thank you, raise the green card. Opposed, raise the red card. Article 12 passes unanimously. The uh, moderator needs one minute to talk to the town clerk. Give me one second. article will be article 31 article 31 article 31 can be found at uh, page 12 of your uh, handout yes sir, mr. Uh, mr. moderator I would like to move article 31 as printed in the handout thank you I second. A second thank you um, it's your article do you want to speak to it yeah I'd like to defer to a member of the committee Okay, come on up. Please uh, identify yourself. Gordon Laws, Gordon Laws, 33 Highland Circle, and uh, a member of the Silver Lake Regional School District uh, School Committee. 
um, for a number of years, and this is a continuation of, of, um, of, of what we have done for a number of years, we contribute um, a portion of money for a part-time school resource officer to be on site um, at the middle school. Um, we pay a portion of that directly to the Kingston Police Department. Plimpton pays a portion of that to the uh, Kingston Police Department. And then Kingston funds a school resource officer also for the high school individually. All right, thank you. Finance Committee's recommendation, Article 31. Finance Committee recommends. Thank you. Finance Committee recommends Article 31. Is there any discussion on Article 31? Seeing no evidence thereof. All those in favor, the green cards, please. Thank you. Opposed? Article 31 passes. The next article? Article 42. Thank you. Article 42. Mr. Moderator. At, uh, okay, yeah. Is that page 16? Yes, Mr. Sayer. Uh, I move to pass over and take no action on Article 42. Okay, do we have a second to pass over? Second. Do you want to speak to the reason for a Passover? Uh, the current board decided to take no action to allow the board to do some more research on this. Finance Committee's recommendation on passing over Article 42. We didn't take a position either way, so yes, we, we concur. Right. Finance Committee hasn't had a chance to vote on it. They take no position. Any discussion on Article 42? To pass over means we take no action. It's not approved. It's not denied. All those in favor of passing over, the green cards, please. All right. Uh, uh, red cards for anyone. Uh, okay. So the motion to pass over passes. Uh, this article is passed over. Um, I believe that's the last one. Mr. Sayer, we need a motion to dissolve this town meeting. I move to dissolve the town meeting. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Okay, this is not debatable. All those in favor of dissolving the annual town meeting say aye. aye. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, Mr. Bruno, for helping us out. Thank you.